Hey guys, it's Maverick. Welcome to the monthly update June. If you are new to these little monthly updates, this is something that I, a little special thing I do for this channel. Check my channel trailer out so you know what these are about. Just a quick summary. It's mainly about gaming news. I don't cover every gaming news, but uh, stuff that's uh, that you'll probably see for this channel in the coming of months. Um, but I do hope you check my channel trailer out if you are new. So to kick off what I do, uh, special if anyone new is watching, um, Whenever I re reveal the next game that I'm going to play, I do it in the fashion of a trailer. And for the people who already know about all this, I am ready to announce Gen 22. If you're new, Generation 22 is the 20, 22nd game I'm about to play on this channel. So this is the new Gen 22. Check out the trailer. That is right, Taiko no Tatsujin, if that's how you say it. This is Gen 22. So if you probably don't even know, some people are like, what? Well, this is the first rhythm game I'm going to play on this channel. I don't have the uh, official controller. Like, we put it right here. And, you know, in this official, if you don't if you don't know nothing about it, it's a big thing in Japan. Um, you, you get, like, the Switch has its own. It's for the Switch. It has its own, you know, Taiko drum thing. And you could bang on it, bang on the sides. That's how you play that game. Uh, this game was on sale for the Switch, and I thought, you know, this is a. You know, it was mainly in Japan, and now it's yeah, it's on Switch. I thought I'd take a shot at it. I do like uh, Guitar Hero if you've ever played those games, and I forgot another rhythm game, uh, WarioWare. If you count that as kind of a rhythm game, WarioWare Smooth Moves, but uh, Taiko no Tetsujin, if that's how you say it. Um, I thought it was on sale for the Switch. Let's do it. You can do motion controls, so I'll see what's best for me in time. We're still on Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. If you're still with me, thank you. Hope you like and comment uh, what was the highlight of this video if you want. Because um, I love, that's number one thing with this channel. I love interacting with people. Love talking to anyone about gaming, whoever loves gaming. Comments are, I love comments. Uh, I do hope that you like the video as well. I just want to say I have Series X and PS5. I did unboxing videos, which you can check that out on my channel. Um, it'll be in the playlist Ace Extras, I believe. But anyway, um, we're on Ratchet and Click Rift Apart. So for now, we're going to keep going with Rift Apart. My speciality, if you're still new, new people here, is uh, adding memes to gameplay. And uh, the purpose is mainly, you know, I love playing games. I thought I'd put it up on YouTube. But it's also for people who don't have uh, that game. We can enjoy the story together. And then, I, you know, I try to make it entertaining with memes. But with Ratchet and Clank, they talk so much, I can't even add memes to it. So it's mainly like we're there for the story. And the action when it comes to Ratchet and Clank. But after Ratchet and Clank, Taiko no Tatsujin, if that's how you say it, it reminds me of um, my first ever game I played on this channel, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics 20, 2020, however, what order you say that title in. Um, when I first started, I said that I was going to say it in Japanese, and I did. I, I don't know if I can remember. Uh, Olympiku, something like that, I forgot. Um, Man, that was the first ever game on the channel, and that was Gen 1, and we're now in uh, Gen 21 and 22 to come in the future. So if you don't know what that Taiko no Tatsujin is, it's a rhythm game. It's mainly drumming. Uh, I hope I don't get copyright. I've been seeing some people play the game, but I'm not sure how it works. So when I film, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. We'll have to see, but uh, Gen 22, Taiko no Tatsujin. And I forgot, I always talk about... Uh, the placement of of the characters on the roster so this character's name is don chan but there's a red and blue version so i thought you know we'll go and add both of them and they're jumping in the air side by side near the ace logo i thought that was really cool uh cool sorry that sounded weird um 
and then I'm going for realistic heights and all that for, for my characters now. And these are like, if you don't, I think it's called a taiko, the actual drum. It's actually pretty big, so they're pretty big on the roster, even though they're, they got like cute little faces, but taiko drums are actually big, so they're, they're pretty big on the roster. Then the question I always get, once I announce a new game, they say, what's Gen 23? So it's the next game. I have no clue what Gen 23 is right now. Uh, just trying to play it safe. That's why I kind of do one at a time with these uh, releases. I'm also thinking of, not sure if I'm gonna do it, but it, it's kind of obvious. Uh, the next game I'm gonna pick, so Ratchet and Clank, when I announced it, it was like, oh, it was pretty obvious that he was gonna pick this game. I'm thinking of saying games that I'm gonna, uh, like with Tycho, I could have said it was Gen, is Gen, uh, it's gonna be Gen, I'm gonna have to cut that part out. I can't really explain it, but I may announce uh, obvious games early because when we get closer to a game, it's like, I know he's gonna pick, this is a new game that's coming out, he has to pick it, it's probably this one. It's too obvious, I like surprising people, so I might um, make a trailer early, but in my trailers I say Gen 22 is, then it shows the game. I think I'll just say a future gen is, or something like that, so so it's more of a su surprise attack type of thing. So for this monthly update, I don't have, I didn't have it, it was gen 22 is all I have to reveal um, for a new game. That's... I'll have to see what I could do with it because I want to surprise more often. So as I put in my script here, moving on, I will be trying something new. Oh yeah, okay, so as you can see in my video titles, they're hit and miss, you know. When it comes to video titles and being a YouTuber and you want those views and the subscribers and, and, and all that goodness, you kind of have to make somewhat clickbait. I, I try not to do clickbait on this channel, um, only if it feels right. I don't know, I don't, I don't try to do clickbait all the time. Like, oh my god, PS5 6, I got my hands on it. GTA 6, like that cheesy, corny clickbait. I try not to do that, but uh, what I'm going to do in the future, because I've been doing a lot of research, as I put here, the titles are going to be different at first, but then in time, uh, I'll rename them so they're, uh, they go with my playlists and it's more organized. So let's just say the next episode, I'm going to practice it with the, the next episode of Ratchet & Clank. Uh, episode 4 just came out. That's called Alien on Deck, and it has the episode four logo thing. So we'll do episode five. What is going to be a cool little? I'll try to do good with the thumbnail if I can. So we'll have a cool thumbnail and a bonkers of a title. You know, just go kind of wild and have fun with it. I think it will get if the thumbnail's good and the, and the title's good, people will like it. Then when I do my little intro, I can try to reel them in at the start. Yeah, the title, the title and thumbnail is to kind of reel them in and at the start of the video i'll try to reel them in with it i'll just say this is episode five so oh so so this is episode five you don't really have to put episode five but i do it for organization skills and or organization purposes so uh you'll be seeing that from now on you know the title and thumbnail is going to be really wacky i'll probably still keep the, the thumbnail but the title will change we'll probably keep the same name at, at first for the first title at first we'll keep that but then it's going to say ratchet and clank episode five you know no one's really gonna look for that but still i want to be organized with my playlists so that's why i'm doing that i just put an example here i said oh my god the greatest quick scope of all time in call of duty and then later on i'm gonna call it call of duty black ops one quick scope uh, amazing quick scope montage or something like that i don't do quick scopes it was, this is just a silly example but uh just just know that it's gonna be wacky at first and then in a couple days i will rechange the name to a more organized official um title so there's a new playlist i've been talking about i don't think i talked about it last monthly update and that is i'm going to call it a uh, ace generations this is going to be where i talk about gen 1 through 10 so i played 10 games um well, 1 through 10 because you know it's equal good number and then we'll go to and then that'll, that'll be the first episode second episode will be 11 through 20 and then you know third episode when it comes uh 21 to 30 which i have no clue Ever since I started this channel, I always thought of the number 30, 31, 32, and 33. Uh, Gen, 30 to 33. I don't know why. Um, I have nothing planned, but that's just the number that's been sticking to me for some reason ever since the start. Uh, so I'll have to see. I, it, it's just a random number that came in my head when I first started doing the whole Gen thing. So, but anyway, you know, you'd get my entire thoughts of Gen 1 through 10. 
uh, the thought process of picking Mario, Sonic, and whoever, 1 through 10, you know, when I was looking at the the ace roster, you know, it's that thought process of, okay, what what uh, character are we going to pick? It's Mario and Sonic was the first game. With Mario and Sonic, what art, art style do I want to pick? And the whole process of each and every single gen, my thoughts on the gen. Uh, I have a little tier list as well. I'll pop that up as well. Uh, that's how I feel of every game that I've played. You can take the uh, tier list as well. Link in description below. Um, tag it to me on my Twitter since I don't have the post feature on YouTube. Um, and I'm curious to see where do you put your, your tier list. And as for my personal friends, do it on Twitter. It's okay. It's much better. Um, that It will also probably make me put you in a, uh, a video as well in the future for monthly updates. But anyway, that's probably something that's going to come in the future. Ace Generations. But talking about that the uh, placement of Mario and Sonic and we'll do that for every gen for the Ace Generations playlist reminds me of a video I did you could check that out one you can check this one out too it's in the Ace Extras playlist and it's when I did a video behind the scenes of uh, how I make a gen trailer and you know the character I pick their height which I'm going for realistic uh, sizes from their games on the, on the roster now um, and all that detail you can look at that if you curious how I make a trailer uh, the, how, how I know I pick a game and, and all that stuff. So June 20th was my birthday. Today's uh, June 28th. Um, didn't really post anything. I have footage of my first ever drinks that I took. Don't know if I'll release them yet. That's, that feels like more of a subscriber special if people want it. Something like that. So we'll have to see with, uh, with that. But June 20th, this was my birth month. It was really cool. Uh, I'm 21 now. I don't mind saying that. I am 21. Been doing YouTube for a year. Yeah, a year. It's been a year and uh, and some change. A couple months. Um, and I'm starting to take it. I I would say you know from the start I was taking it serious, but I'm developing more skills, doing more research, especially now. Because if you see my intro, I would have just kind of jumped in, but now I'm kind of trying to reel in the people now. You know, this is one of the things I always say. I want this to be my thing, you know? YouTube, purpose of this channel, I said it in the Ace Maverick, um, who is Ace Maverick trailer, or the channel trailer. It's like, this is about the stories of the game, the memes I put into it. I try to entertain people. Uh, I love interacting with people, comments, anything. When it comes to gaming, because I really love gaming, it's just like a place to, you can leave everything uh, from the world back come here it's all about gaming and all about having a good time so really hope that ace maverick in the future grows i hope this could be my thing in the future but anyway uh enough rambling june 20th was my birth month then the next thing i have here is a uh, gang beasts if you know that game came on uh is coming to the game pass on the 30th june 30th um among us was supposed to come i could have sworn among us was supposed to come june 15th that must have been a a fake release date I seen somewhere, but anyway, um, I put a, I may do a Ace and Friends if you're new. Ace and Friends is basically me and a couple friends or collabers. That's where, that's what that playlist will mean too. Ace and Friends. I could be, go to collabers, um, but it's basically me and a feature, or a couple features or my friends, and we do games. We've done the Knockout City experience. That was really fun. I still play that game. It's amazing. I love Knockout City. We've done uh, Call of Duty zombie challenges. You know, starter room only fists only and those were pretty fun we've done multiple challenges uh but for gang beast i will probably do a video with them the thing is i'll tell you they're way different on camera than they are off camera so i think i doubt they're watching this uh they support me but i don't think they watch every video every second which is fine as long as you kind of support me at least watch some of the video but i don't think they're watching uh if we do a ace and friends i'm going to try to surprise them and do an intro beforehand. Like I'll say, I'll be right back, guys. Then I'll actually start the intro. Then I'll film, but they won't know I'm filming them. So it's a way better video. They're, they're totally, they're, they're so much, they have more character when they're off camera than on camera. I don't know why they're hiding it. They can say whatever they want. I'll just censor it. Um, like I said, if I'm playing a rated M game, the F-bombs, everything's allowed. Not everything, but you know, depending, it depends on the game. Then if it's rated E, which Gang Beast is probably rated teen or rated E10, I, I allow at least PG-13 language for any game. That's just how I am. But yeah, Gang Beast, we'll probably get an episode uh, in the future.
then you know I've been having this guy here for a while. I don't know if uh, he'll pop up in the editing phase if I crop them out. But this is Cuphead. He is Gen 19, I think. Um, and with him, that trailer, that trailer was cool. I was basically doing dishes on that one. Um, but with Cuphead, he's just been here. And uh, I'm trying not to forget him. I'll try not to. But his thing's going to go by fast. It's basically an aisle and episode if you know his games. We just did one episode of the whole world, the first world. Then it's the second, third, and then... So he'll probably get four episodes, I think. Um, but he's just here because I'm trying not to forget Cuphead. He's the one that's in the past that we can't forget. Cyberpunk as well, but I'm holding off on that one. And then Animal Crossing, I already said a couple monthly updates ago that I cut Animal Crossing off. Uh, it was episode seven. I, I was saying... Um, Guys, this is not the finale. I'm just moving on to the next game, which I forgot the next one. I think it was Doom Eternal was the next game after that. I'm not sure. But enough rambling. Um, I kind of got off track there. Cuphead, we won't forget you. Cyberpunk, we will try not to forget you. I'm not sure if I'll come back to you. And then Animal Crossing, you got cut. And when it comes to my ace highlights, which I like to do my little memes there, we did Mario and Sonic. Dang it, who's gent? Pokemon. And we just did uh, Untitled Goose Game as my ace highlights where I do my little memes and all that. Then the fourth one is Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm not sure if I could do an ace highlight video because there's nothing entertaining on that one. It was a, It's a hard game to do for YouTube because it's like a mobile game. It's like those mobile tycoon games. I can't really film everything I show. It, it's going to be too cutty and I get like five minutes one day. Then I'll give you a couple minutes in, in the next day in real life because that game takes time for stuff to grow in the game. It kind of Animal Crossing is not for me, so I'm not sure if I'll do ace highlights for that one. We probably will, but we'll see. So coming near the end here, I just wanted a reminder from the last monthly update, um, which had Cortez time splitters. I can't wait for that. But most importantly, the one that was in the middle. That's the, the Hula Hawaii girl. Just a reminder, if you didn't see the last one, I'll be in August. I will be uh, going to Hawaii for like a week and a couple of days. Um, I'll be there for a week for sure. And then I ask for like about three days when I come back home so I can kind of rest, uh, film a bit more if I can. And I'm totally out of breath. That's why you're seeing all these cuts and I'm kind of messing up too. But uh, just a reminder, August 20th around there, I'll be going to Hawaii for a week. And I could bring my equipment, but there's nothing to film. I can't really... Not gonna, I'm not going to bring my TV and my PlayStation 5 and all that. Um, but maybe I'll do an Ace Vlog. Leave a comment if you want that. Leave a comment right now if you want. Like a little mini vlog or something like that. I've been thinking of doing um, Instagram for Ace Maverick and my other channel. Like more social medias. But I think I should just stick with YouTube for now. I do Twitter for both of them. So I, I do hope you follow the Twitter. Because that's where... Uh, the gen trailers go and, and all that stuff. There's a lot of hidden hidden gems on the Twitter. So I hope you guys check that one out too. But yeah, just a reminder in August. Um, since it's mid to late August, I'm leaving. The monthly update will have to come around like the 15th or way earlier. So I'll have to call the shots early if I want to announce a new game or anything like that. But just a reminder for this and next monthly update, I'll be telling you that um, Hawaii is uh, coming upon me. Well, guys, that about wraps up the monthly update. Just kidding. I have Gen 23. Take a look. As beautiful and unpredictable as ever. That is right. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoons is Gen 23. He is the third character or fourth uh, that's in the air. I picked there. There was a lot of pick, uh, a lot of picks I could have done for him. I was thinking there's a picture of him like standing on top of a pole. 
I would have thought to uh, put him on top of the ace, like my, the ace logo at the tippity top and kind of like perching up there. But it doesn't work with the whole cropping process and all that. Um, if you're watching on a TV, because there's certain metrics for uh, a channel, um, they call it a channel art. When you click on my my click on my channel, you see that banner of all the characters. That's called a channel uh, art. Um, and the biggest one is TV, and I could put a whole bunch of characters for that one. Um, but the best one that works for every platform is the the border you see there. Every time you click on mobile or anything, it's perfectly all the characters right there. But yeah, Sly Cooper, I was thinking to put him at the top, but it's kind of hard putting a character in the middle like Cuphead because like who really deserves to be in the middle? You know, I, I didn't feel like he deserved to be there, but everyone's fine where they are. But yeah, I was thinking to put perch him up at the top of the uh, Ace logo, but it, it would crop him out. So he's just in the air. The reason I put him in the air, he, he has a he has other pictures to jump in. It's because he's a thief. So he's, you know, he's jumping building to building. Never played his games, but I seen a bit. He jumps building, building. He's sneaky, so I thought, I thought, you know, we'll ca catch one where he's in the air, and you know, it looks like he's about to strike on uh, Lady Dimitris, but not really. But, but if you are new, I want to thank you very much for uh, watching this far. Even for the people who aren't new, thanks for watching this far. Thank you to the people who watch every single minute of this video. You get me closer to the watch hours that I need. Although I think it's in a span of 12 months, so does it always reset? I don't know. That kind of sucks if it does. But anyway, I've been doing my research and I know what I have to do from here on forward. So that's why the intro was a bit different than usual because I'm trying to get more skills and develop better. Uh, I've already had new people tell me that my commentary is... It's not like I'm shy. I, I am shy in person actually, but on camera it's just... It's Ace Maverick, it's different. But they, they tell me that you're, you're very fluid, you know what to say during the moment. So, like, thank you very much. So, I'm good on that. It's just, I'm so good at the meme thing, but I'm playing the games that I'm playing, and I can't add memes to Ratchet and Clank. It's just they talk too much. So, you basically come for the story. We're both going through the story together. That's the purpose of uh, these games, you know. We're going through the story together. Uh, it's mainly tutorials and all that that can get you views and all. But, it it's okay. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I'm on my own journey here, so... Uh, but yeah, Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoons, he's in the air. Just like Ghost Runner and uh, Cody and Maeve. Or no, May. I always call her Maeve. I don't know why. But yeah, Sly Cooper, he will be on the PS5. Uh, of course, it's PlayStation Now. So you have to get his... You have to subscribe to that to get... You can't just buy his collection game. Which I am going to buy... Or I'm going to subscribe to PlayStation Now to play Sly Cooper 1. I'm not sure if I'll do Sly Cooper 2 and 3. And then 4... Oh, there was like a fourth one? Or am I thinking something different? He has another game I forgot. But I'm not sure if I'll do those on camera. We'll have to see. But I wanted Sly Cooper 1 on the um, for Ace Maverick. Like I was saying in the past, there's a lot of games. Because I'm new to PlayStation, I want to play. But in their classics. But I'd rather save it for uh, Ace Maverick and get it on film. So Sly Cooper and uh, Taiko no Tatsujin. Tatsujin? I forgot. Uh... What's his name? Don Chan. Yeah, Don Chan and the other Don Chan, Red and Blue Face, and uh, Sly Cooper are on the roster now. Honest to God, I don't know what Gen 24 is. I, honest, honest. I don't know what Gen 24 is. We just have to wait, wait and see. And like I said, you know, I, I kind of want to have that element of surprise. So you may see, you may see trailers in a different fashion. Because I always say Gen 22 is, and then it shows. But since I want to have that element of surprise, a future generation or a future gen or coming soon to Ace Maverick, I could do something like that. Boom, this one. And I won't confirm the gen because uh, it'd be too early to call. I don't know if I'm going to play like two other games before I reach this game that comes out in December. That's just an example. Nothing coming in December, I don't think. Uh, holy cow, one of the biggest things in the monthly update that we talk about is games that coming this games that came this month and next month. Totally forgot about that in my script, so we will do that before we uh, end it off here. So, you know, these are only games that I really care about. Uh, wait, Doki Doki Literature Club? Is that a... Uh... I'm probably way off, but isn't that another rhythm game? I'm probably... I'm, I'm sorry if I'm off, but... Uh, uh, when it comes to this, uh, Destroy All Humans for the Switch, June 29th. I play this on Game Pass. For me, 
there's too many controls and and I don't, it didn't seem like a game to really go forth with it i almost thought of putting it for ace maverick so we'd have an alien although we kind of already have an alien on the roster uh the little bird on a journey to the savage planet the main character his head a little bird but anyway not much for june only games that i really care about uh sorry for curved space sky children of the light wonder boy zombies ate my neighbors and ghoul patrol that's a classic though a tale of sim sin pace and yeah sorry for those people who like those games but it's only games that i gave a damn about so sorry about that then july let's see what we got salmon max this time it's virtual we played salmon max uh it was the remaster for the switch you could check that series out if you like um not much memes i could add to that one but it was more of a me and you together discovering the story figuring out the crime and all that so uh sam and max i love them they're hecka cool but uh for this one it's called this time it's virtual it's only for pc vr so sadly i would have loved to play it but i'm not really much of a pc guy right now maybe in the future if i somehow grow the channel very profitable from this channel people want pc i can afford it i'll totally book go in for the pc looking at this list live right now there's a lot of games coming out in july uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD for the Switch. Zelda fans say it's like his worst game. The worst game he's ever had. But uh, I'll be honest, I never played a Zelda game. And I told that to a couple employees at GameStop. They were like, they had, their jaws dropped. Eyes were open. Jaws dropped. It was... I never played Zelda. I, it just never stood out for me. I don't know. Okay, Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is coming to uh, Game Pass. I have it pre-installed. I may do a uh, first impressions video, so we'll ch probably check that one out. That comes in uh, July 27th. And you know, that's about all I care about for uh, games that I really care about coming this month and next month. So Flight Simulator, maybe in the future. A couple, we did Dark Alliance, Dungeons and Dragons. The online in that game is unplayable. No wonder it had six out of tens. Uh, Tears.Strike, you commented that. You said you really enjoy the game. You're probably playing solo. Play online? And look at the difference. Um, it's unplayable. My friend, you know, he keeps telling me he wants to play. It's uh, Marco, the one who collabed with me in uh, It Takes Two. He, want, he he always wants me to play that game. I would love to play Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons. But it's too unplayable. It's way too unplayable. But uh, all these cuts is because I'm like... Something's with my throat right now. It's kind of stopping me. And I talk too fast. I need to drink water. So I'm going to have to end this right now. But anyway... Uh, I almost forgot about that. We always talk about that every monthly update. Games came this month and next month. That was like a number one thing when I first started these monthly updates way back in November or something like that. And those thumbnails were really bad. There was no music in the background. It was quiet. It was terrible back in the day. Those ones were bad. Way better now. Uh, always growing with Ace Maverick, trying to grow. And I uh, did my research recently, so that's why you're seeing you're going to see some changes coming up here. So. so that was the monthly update. If you watched through the entire thing, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you if you're new and you watch the entire thing. Uh, now you know how a monthly update feels like. I, think I really appreciate it. Trying to make Ace Maverick uh, the main, my main source of income if I can. My, my, life and, my whole life and love all for YouTube and, and, and this channel. I, I go for... I go for top notch every day I'd make a video. Uh, just trying to grow every single time. But um, but if you love the monthly update and you want to stay up to date, I uh, hope that you check the Ratchet & Clank series. That's my new series going on right now. Much appreciated. Hope you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the future videos to come. Peace out.